Okay, so now we have already view data and delete data and also the uh, add data. So we have to create uh, update. Okay, so update data. Update data. Let's see, I am going to create the student. I'm going to call the uh, student number to update the data. Enter student number. tatawagin natin ulit si json file natin student.json for reading as git data data is equals to json dot load data now if uh, same process again for deleting data it's uh, if the student number exists in our data then it will proceed here okay so example input I mean name we are only going to update the name and the course. Input. Enter. New. Uh, name. Then the course. Input. In, uh, enter. New course. Now we have to create a dictionary. DIC The student number Student number Okay for no then student student name name student course okay, course If open so tatawagin natin ulit si uh, json data to save this uh, <coughs> para masave natin yung data na ginawa natin as update si update it so that dam data that update okay so let's add another variable here data the student number is equals to the DIC Print successfully updated. Okay, so let's try our uh, program update data. 
Okay, so let's run our data, our program. Enter student number. So this is 11. Our existing data is only this one. The student number 11. Okay, so enter new name. Okay, let's see. Uh, Shadat Baglan the course uh, BSIT okay, enter successfully updated okay so let's view the data if the uh, if it is true or kung totoo ba na yung data ay the update natin okay so let's view the data Uh, let's run the program again as you can see if you run the program the data has been updated so na update po yung data na ginawa natin now we're going to create this one as a uh, simple system ok example I am going to create a main function if main sorry uh, this is one add data add data data okay, let's copy this three uh, update data oh I think this is thing okay update or delete this is delete we put this delete and this one is our update add view delete update data for Okay, so if uh, wait, so you have to add or input data here for student number or enter your choice. Uh, enter. Enter. Choice. Or maybe I'm going to put this so sa ubos sa baba. Okay, so mas maganda to sa baba. Ito. If enter equal equals to one, is yes, then add data. Okay, LF lf enter equal equals to 2 uh, to view data view data lf enter equal equals to 3 the 3 is delete data delete data uh, L F third equal equals to four. Uh, what is four? Update data. Update data. Then lastly, else uh, 
So let's run the program. Okay, as you can see, there is enter choice. Okay, so sample one, That's one. Okay, I'm sorry. We're going to we're going to make this one into integer. So let's convert this into integer in Okay, so let's run the program again Okay, let's say add data One Okay, enter student number Let's say 10 uh, enter student name uh, Aipa Ayunan The course is B is in A Sample B is in A okay, Enter It is successfully uh, added oh. Okay so run the program again view the data k2 okay, as you can see this is the data we have been added so student number 10 the student name i payonan bsma now i'm going to add here sample main after pagkatapos ko mag add babalik siya dito main enter your choice again Okay, let's add new line here. Bed. Bed. Uh, bed. Bed. I'm going to add here. Uh, okay, bread. So let's try to run the program. Line 4. Okay, I'm sorry. So add data. Okay, let's try. Student number twelve. The student name uh, the Zia. In the course. So it says successfully added. Now let's view the data. Two for choices. Okay, so we have already three data here. Okay, 
then uh, for delete, let's delete the existing one, this one, 11. Enter student number 11. So it says successfully deleted. Now let's see. I'm going to update the student number 10. Uh, update. So choice for 10. Enter new name. Uh, let's see. Adam. Adam Ayona MSIT Ok, 5 exit Ok, thank you and come again I think, ok, so I think that's all for now Thank you and uh, goodbye